yesterday, yeah. if you watch the point of view, you know, Frimpo Boateng was on. Yeah. And um, the story, so the headline is, uh, it will be difficult for NPP to win 2024 elections. Mm. Now, I'm saying that because of the, we have the men uh, statement that you made, and this is attributed to Frimpo Boateng. The story was done by Kaba Atoge, and it's on citynewsroom.com. And uh, the former minister says, one-time presidential, okay, so the story is, one-time presidential aspirant of the governing NPP, Professor Kwabna Frimpong Boateng has predicted a tough contest for the NPP in the 2024 general elections. In an interview on City TV's The Point of View, the former Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation said it will be difficult for the NPP to retain political power based on the party's performance in the last seven years. He told host Bernard Avle that the NPP overpromised, this is a quote, overpromised and underdelivered, uh, under um, unquote, on its promises to Ghanaians, and that will make it difficult for the party to win the 2024 elections. Professor Frempo Boating also said the opposition NDC was not giving him any hope, suggesting that neither party is good option for Ghana. Quote, it will be difficult for the NPP to win the 2024 elections. It is a fact that they, the NPP, have overpromised and underdelivered, but everything is possible. But the NDC is also not giving me any hope, unquote. Professor from Port indicated he was optimistic the NPP was going to be in power for a long time, considering the NDC had mismanaged the uh, considering how the NDC had mismanaged the country when Akufado took over in 2016, but it would turn out that he was wrong, just opposing the two administrations. Quote, when I was in government, I said the NDC, the way the NDC had mismanaged the economy the, or the country, we were going to help the president and work so that the NPP will still be there, even after 40 years, and there would be no romantic ideas about the NDC again, and now look at where we are. I thought we were going to work and there would be no romantic ideas about Mahama and the NDC ever coming back. Unquote. There should be a change in the two political parties and how they do their things because there are very good people in the NDC, same as the NPP, he further proposed. So he can continue. Is he? Okay, thank you. We have the men. I think that maybe what he should have, the news mm -hmm. here should have been that, oh, you know something. I no longer want to do politics. Who? As in Frippon Boateng. Okay. Yes. Because, you see, then the man is, you know, uh, how, how do you describe the walk of the snake? How, how do you call it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I said I want to be like a chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. yeah, you know. So, okay, he's changed color here. He's there. He's moving. You don't know. But he's been meandering. very objective here. Or? Which, what do you, how do you describe objectivity? Well, if he says that this I is... I told when I was here and that I, when I was in government, uh -huh. I told that uh, we were Ooh, going to yeah. do this. I. Uh -huh. Once you bring in that I, uh -huh. you change the complexion for me. But he's speaking for and, himself. And now, meaning that, oh, if he had been there, he would have done better. Isn't it? Or the government would have done better. Is that what you're saying? Is that what he's saying? That is what he's telling you. Mm. Eh, that is what he's telling you. Oh, when I when I was uh, sorry, he says I told that when I was in government, I said the way the NDC had mismanaged the country, we're going to help the president and work so that the NPP will still be there even after forty years, and there would be no romantic ideas about the NDC again. Yeah. And now look at where we are. Exactly. And he says that the NPP had um, overpromised and yeah. under delivered. He was part of those promising. I don't the, think the he's promises. taking himself out. No, he then he said when I when he says. When uh, I was in I government, was in government. Uh -huh. now he's out of government. Yes. And then says that he's at, at the point that he condemns the MPP and condemns the NDC as well. And then said that a new party would have to emerge, that which he will be part of. <laughs> no, he said they should correct the way they do things. Eh? That he will be, they should correct the way they yeah, do. Yeah, so there, should be, there should be a change in the two political parties and how they do their things because there are very good people in the NDC, same as the NPP. And uh, so how does it, what, what is the proposal? Change the ways of doing things. Uh, but wow, how? I don't know. Yes, the man didn't give us anything. Must he? I mean, no, yes. if things are going From on a, and a while it's not ago, right. I said that yes. when you had condemned somebody mm -hmm. that you are better placed yeah. to do the show, than Larry Dogbe or Elvis Daku. Mm -hmm. When you come and you are... Uh, 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 yeah, pussy footing around. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, people will know. Viewers will know that, ah, Freeman, I said that on you. 
People who say it, mm. you don't say that when I was in government, mm -hmm. I thought that we could do things better so that uh, people will stop romanticizing about NBC. NBC yes. Yeah. Now he's out of government. Mm -hmm. He should have been telling us that, oh, I did this, I did that, I did that, I did that. When but it's I was just one government. part of the, because I watched the interview and he spoke about stuff that he did. Oh, but then it's, we are commenting on your report. Uh -huh. I didn't watch yeah. the program. Okay. So we are commenting on your report. Yes. And I'm saying that, he said, I, I, I. Mm -hmm. Once you bring in the I, the objectivity is lost in there. So how should he have said it? Oh, I mean, then he should have told us that, listen, uh, <clears throat> We, I thought we were doing this. We we're going to move, uh, let's say, the people from one stage to the other and yeah. give us that this is what, I mean, we should have done. And if we had done it, and giving us some numbers and so on. But when he said that, I thought we were going to do better. We we'll helped the president to do uh -huh. something. Yeah. I mean, what are he saying? That, so you, it means we are not there. That doesn't mean that you didn't help the president. No, but, but Elvis, let me pick your thoughts as well. So if it says that when I was in government, I said the way the NDC, so this is not a position of the party. This is his position, that the way the NDC had mismanaged the country, we were going to help the president. Is that not enough? So but he was given a chance for four years. For, was he not in government for four did years? Did he not contribute? Well, was he in government for four years? Uh-huh. He was in government yes. for four years. They said you should come and account this is for, what for, I've been for the that <laughs> When we so much fantasize about a presidential candidate, we should be mindful. A presidential candidate may be an expert or a professional in just one field. Mm -hmm. Governance is about the entire nation. So anybody can become a presidential candidate. It's about the people he selects yeah. to work with, mm -hmm. sector by sector. Mm -hmm. If those individuals deliver spectacularly, then the government will be seen as a government that has delivered. That is the problem we are having. We are having this position as if, if we, we prop up a particular candidate and he wins, then our problem is solved. That is the problem. It will not work. It doesn't work anyway. Yeah. It is the team. Professor Kimobar should say he wants to join a new party. You mentioned that. I think he should say that. Yeah. Because it's condemned both NDC and MPP. MPP is his party, but it's condemned them. But must he join a party? No. Oh, he said there's a new party outside the two. Look, Professor Paul has been in power for four years as a minister. If he is talking about underperformance, then he's part of the, pro the underperformance. Mm -hmm. He's clearly part of it. <laughs> because it means that he also did not perform in office. Fantastic ideas to that said that nobody doubts that. But in politics and in government, if he's saying this, it means that it's clear that he himself is a failure in, in politics and in governance. But that's why he stepped aside. No, he didn't, he didn't step, step aside. aside. It's not a calm down. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he only reappointed. He didn't yeah. step, as, step aside. Okay? So don't say that. So you see, this is what I learned like about politicians. Mm. If you want to add, we say that myself, I've realized that I failed in my office and I've disappointed the mm. president that appointed me. Admit it, then we know that there's a failure. But when you want to do like, as for you, you are good, the others are not good. If you speak to another minister, you also say, I am good, I've done my part. So who is not the problem? So if you are saying the government has underperformed, then he also, you also underperform your position. Because it's only when these appointees perform that they are well put together will determine the performance of the government. But he's indirectly mm -hmm. um, admitted that because he said mm -hmm. NPP, NDC, mm -hmm. all these, the, 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 both parties so, are, are so, not so, helping so, Ghana. So, so the side should be Professor Kuma admit failure in government. Yes. At what stage is he part of NPP? Do, do at what stage is he? So I mean, is he a, 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 a we statesman? Be, we should be. We, but he, he hasn't I, said he's not part of NPP. I, I don't he like that. We are failed. I but he, he hasn't said that. Do you know what I hate most? Uh -huh. People who have been given a chance to serve, and when they are taken out, now they come out and shouting. I hate those people. Do you know why? why? Because you were part of the system that now you are trying to criticize. When you were given but, a but, but if, if I'm part of the system yes. and the system fails, I can't speak about no, it. No, why do you speak about when you were in the office? Why, you know, why do you tell us when you were sitting in the system and say, I'm resigning because the system is failing? He, he was observing table manners. Okay. Why would you tell us that? I think that. We promised Ghanaians we want to do this, but when we came to power, <laughs> after three years of being in the seat, I think that we are underperforming, so I'm resigning. 
That is a principal politician. So what you're trying to but say that he's been a crime But not when you have been disappointed in appointment. <laughs> He's then now is baby. when you decide to say, right. I think that we haven't done well. You see, we should let people be bold and say what they want to say. There's no president that can change this country if he doesn't, if the people around him do not do their work effectively and deliver. Because the president is one man. He is maybe a professional in one, President Obama is a lawyer. Yeah. President Obama is a communicator. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sectors of the economy are huge. Yeah. And for all the sectors to be able to perform, you appoint people there. Those who are appointed, if they are able to do a good job, then the president can be said to have delivered because sector by sector, mm -hmm. they can point to achievements. Mm -hmm. he, he has been part of a very key, very key, mm, very important ministry. Eh? Environment, science, technology, and what? Innovation. Innovation. Yeah. Innovation. Environment, science, and technology. In fact, that sector alone, in many countries, is what develops the country. You are in charge of the environment. You are in charge of science. And you are in charge of technology. It's a huge portfolio and a key portfolio given to you. So if he wants to admit that, I've, I've, I've come to realize that I've been a big failure in government. That's why the government has underperformed. Then you say it. But don't sit and, and, and pontificate about others and then create an impression as for you you have done well. I've asked, under his regime, as a minister in that sector, mm -hmm. what and what are we can we point to in that sector that something magnificent happened during his tenure as minister for four years? Look at because what? you cannot point to much. Galam right? complete failure at all. Mm -hmm. It was directly under him. Mm -hmm. Now, if we even have to come and account for monies giving him to go and do the fight, I don't even, like, even before we go to the accountability, I don't even tell the Galam Sefai it's a complete failure. That it was directly under his supervision. Total failure. Right. He never told us that there were any uh, people that are trying to intervene in his work or anything. Until he time. was taken, he was removed from office, that no longer wrote, appointed. And now before he starts realizing that he has to write a letter to say that uh, something went wrong. In fact, he's written another letter to the future <clears throat> president. You, you understand? But, but so look, we I, shouldn't, I, I, we I, shouldn't I, play these things. People should own up to their failures. Look, That's right. the only way we can make progress. That much I agree with you. Yeah. There is also very serious issues here that the MPP, the NDC, both parties are not helping Ghana. You okay. know, is that correct? I mean, is this something? And the fact that he says that it's going to be very difficult for the NPP to break the eight. Can we look at these issues? Do, do you know the history of Rosa Fimbom Barton? Which aspect? He's one of the discoveries of Jerry Rollins. Mm -hmm. So? Ro I'm coming. Rollins brought him back from Germany. Uh -huh. Set up uh, cardio, cardio, cardio. Okay? Yeah. Years on, he became a, a chief executive of Kolebu. And then also, at the same time, he, was, he had an additional uh, uh, responsibility as CEO of the Cardio Center. Yeah. So one man, two, two of these institutions. Yeah. Eventually, when he was kicked out from uh, Kolebu as CEO, mm -hmm. he wanted to, should I say, appropriate the cardio, cardio. Okay, as CEO. And then over there also, they kicked him out. He moved on to go and set up his own uh, uh, cardio, sorry, yeah. hospital and so on. I don't know how that is performing. Yeah. Now, I'm saying that this is, a, and Frimpong Barton was big. Yeah. Very big. And I think what, big. Uh, uh, when it comes to medicine, yes. he's still very until, big. Until he stepped into politics. Yeah. And then his, you know, uh, I mean, his strength and weaknesses started showing. Yeah. Or he stepped into leadership. What it means is that you can be... Political leadership. Political leadership. What it means is that you can be the best cardio the world has. Uh -huh. yeah. However, I mean, administration-wise or administrative qualities, you might not have them. Mm -hmm. And it's obvious. That's why you have a team to work with. Yes, but then the team as the head, you would have to, the team might be good. Yeah. I mean, look, recently we saw Chelsea, good team by standard. But what, what was their placement mm -hmm. on the league table mm -hmm. after the, you know, at the last season? Mm -hmm. So it's not just you as the coach. Yeah. However, you need people to bring out and you need to encourage them. Mm -hmm. your, 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 your human management yeah. is key. I mean, in Kolebu, he had issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, he didn't leave Kolebu like, uh, which is the best hospital in town, uh, sorry, in the world, that the politicians go to. Mm -hmm. It's not that. Mm -hmm. he, so, he, he, it, so even if Kolebu, you couldn't manage it well, 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then how about the, the ministry as well? And today so, you are now having to pontificate to us. I, I, as I, to how, I, I get you on that. Yes. But my question still is, yes. does that change the fact that it's going to be very difficult for the NPP to break the eight? And does that also change the fact that NPP and DC, they need to change the way they do things because they're not helping Ghana? I want us to look at this. Obviously, I mean, human institutions, as we have them, uh -huh. you need to constantly be reviewing your steps. Yeah. Okay, this is where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. This is where I want to go. Am I there? Okay, where did I, you know, uh, misstep and all that? So you need to always just do constant mm -hmm. reevaluation of, of what, wherever it is that, what you want to do and wherever you want to, 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 to go. But I'm saying that the, where the suggestion is coming from, particularly when you have issues of accountability hanging on your neck, okay, mm -hmm. for me, I begin to look at you with uh, a, a bit of, uh, I can't find the appropriate mm -hmm. word, but I think you understand what I, I, yeah. I, 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 so, I, so let me I, ask I, you I this, mean, Larry, yeah. let me ask you. Forget about from Paul Watting. Yes. And as a journalist, yes. okay, when you sit back to analyze what NPP has done since mm. they came to office, would it be difficult for NPP to break the eight? Or is it going to be a very smooth run? You see, the eight-year cycle, it's a very, you know, serious thing. Yeah. Okay, in this country. Such that it affected Mahama because he had been part of Moses four years yeah. and then his own four years. And so that became a huge argument or a huge uh, yeah. selling point for Akufuado, who said that you know something, eight years and that eight year for you for Mahama is not yeah. guaranteed. But then when he came to his turn, he says, "Oh, listen, uh, yes, no, he, they use a certain term. Was it Nana Tuaso? Yeah, yeah. One guy said, I don't know, it's four more for Nana, more, Nana yeah. Tuaso, you know, yeah. and all that. So uh, we are eight years." Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the party is presenting a different candidate, candidate yeah. and so on versus, you know, NDC's uh, President Mahama mm -hmm. or ex-President Mahama. The dynamics are quite different right. and so on. It all depends on the debate. But I have always said that MPP in office, they don't let go of power easily. Mm. They would die fighting mm -hmm. with everything, yeah. you know. The, Hands, legs, yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. They will deploy everything. And so they don't joke with a party like that. Mm. So as to whether or not they will break the eight. We live to see. Yeah, I mean, as a journalist, I'm, you know, I'm waiting to see how they're going to. But have them. they over-promised and under-delivered? Well, as for the promises, they did, though. Or they didn't. They okay. did, they did, they did. They, so. They, 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 they did. I mean, uh, <laughs> one district, one factory. One village, one dam. Uh, one constituency, one million dollars. One word. Uh, and then the slogans in there, be brave. Mm. I'm sure you remember some of them. Help me. I don't remember. <laughs> right, so this is where we are now. So um, the man who was part of the government says that they overpromised and underdelivered. And according to him, it's going to be very difficult for the NPP to break the eight. But like Larry said, we live to see what happens, you know after 2024 elections. Thank you very much. Uh, you don't let me comment on yeah. no, but, but you, you, you said... Uh, but time, Kakra. Ah, are Oh. Mucha time, Kakra. But we start, I started with you, and then... No, let me have a yeah. okay. okay. uh, All right, okay. so I'll give you, you, I'll give you just um, 60 uh, seconds. Uh, <laughs> because no, it's, it's last night. First of all, yeah. it must be said that... Mm -hmm. My position is that yeah. every government in power loses an election for opposition to come to power. Yeah. Yeah. The reason being that the government has access to all the nation's resources, yeah. and that if they apply it, and apply it the way the people want, the people will renew their mandate. Yeah. If you lose an election, it's because the people felt that you have not applied national resources mm. that in the way they feel you should have done it. So for me, a governing power party should always look at the fact that you are going to lose an election yeah. and for an opposition to come. Opposition doesn't win election from my point of view. Yeah. And secondly, with the global economic problem, no government in the world is going to an election thinking that it's going to be easy for it because every economy is struggling. People are really hard, mm -hmm. finally hard economically. Yeah. So in this era, no government, not even advanced country, do government go into election thinking that they are going to win it. So it's obviously a fact that it's going to be so difficult for the MPP in the next election. There's no doubt about that. So nobody will take that for granted. But I see we should understand that the problem all that Professor Prof. was talking about, he has been in office for four years. What did he do differently from what has been done in the Fourth Republic? That is my problem when he talk about, if you had come, you have done certain innovative things mm -hmm. that we've not seen in Ghana before 
They will say that you are saying something, but it's like you want so, to repeat. So, so you, you, are, you have done, done the same things that your predecessor have so done. So are, are you saying that his performance was not satisfactory, in quotes? No, no, and, no, it's and, not, so, and so he can't comment about governance. No, he can't comment about no, He can't comment about NDC. About, can't, can't, you see, it's not about you can't comment because the point is that you were given the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So then your comment, why should I place value on what you are saying? If we're not, giving, is, if uh, we're not giving the opportunity. Larry just said that no. you can have the best team, no. but the one at the no, top. No, talk about your own, your own, your mm -hmm. office. Your, the sector giving you what unique things have you done that we've not seen since we came to the Fourth Republic. That's the issue. So no, you should keep quiet. No, uh, I'm not no, saying no, that you but me, I'm asking. What I'm yeah. saying is that you are not saying, but I'm I will asking. not place much value on what you say. Okay. Because when you are given the opportunity, you didn't, you didn't do anything so you need from what you've done in the past. A man, man who is so saying. robotic. Do you understand what I'm saying? A man who is so robotic. When people are over promise, I ask what the meaning of over promise. If you ask me, everything the MPP is considering is what Ghana needs to move to the next level. Have they done it? Are you saying that if we have factories all over Ghana, mm -hmm. Ghana will not be happy? Ghana will be happy. Are you saying that free as if it works and everybody got free singles, people are not happy? Are they working? That, that, that's the point. The point uh -huh. is that good policies uh -huh. you implement doesn't mean you will not have challenges. Uh -huh. I've always had problems with this government that despite all that has happened to SADA, we should never have thrown away that, that policy. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most forward-looking policy that could transform the five regions of the north mm -hmm. but because there were reports of some people who were supposed to manage the place didn't do it well we threw away the, the whole agenda you're saying that mpp ndc there are serious that's issues. what i'm telling you they should change their so, words you no, said the mandate it is not about changing them it's about our approach as a nation uh -huh. you see as a nation do we see things through or we do it halfway and leave it somewhere until we begin to look at the fact that when we start something mm -hmm. It has to end. We are doing Eastern Corridor Road for how many years? From President, from President Moon to now is what? Mm -hmm. China took nine years eh, to spend 15 billion to build a bridge eh, that connects three islands together. They are right. in the world. Okay. It's, it's, it's that commitment to do it. So as a country, is it saying that when a new government comes, they will do things differently? We have been in the foreground for 30 good years in both NDC and NPP, not the same people. Different, different people have so been ministers and appointed. So it's a Ghana problem. It's a Ghana that problem. That is why, if you ask me, uh -huh. we, yeah. should leave, we should not leave development to the political parties. Uh -huh. We should make the work of the NDPC binding on every government. Uh -huh. and who who should do that? Parliament. Uh -huh. We should make it law. But and then if the you parliament are in government, is also divided on why you partisan are in government, lines, what find do we the do? Money, uh -huh. Find the money to execute what is in NDPC's plan. The situation we have allowed uh -huh. parties to convert their political manifestos into development plans for Ghana. That's why we are where we but are. But you also agree that until we change this everything, NPP, NDC, looking at um, um, developmental development issues, is, through these lenses, the, nothing will happen. Is and that is what no, Professor is saying. The development has no NPP, NDC mm -hmm. color. That is why if you make the work of NDPC binding on mm -hmm. every government mm -hmm. and says, and if say we need 400 uh, junior high schools in Ghana in the next 10 years, mm -hmm. every year we'll build this amount. The government that comes, your duty is to find the money to build it, period. They've designed the project, they determine how many should Do we be not have the plan? Yours, what are we doing with we it? We said it is not binding on any government. So the government comes and says the work is not binding. Mm -hmm. So it is their manifesto that will be converted to our development plan as a country. That's why we are going nowhere. Right, so until. Can I check in there? Your time is fast spent. Your money is 